Look who's back in town. All right, guys. I am back. Back from my trip to San Francisco. Boy, do I got a lot to share. So this was one heck, one hell of a trip um, that I had. Um, it took a, just about a, over a week. Um, but in that time, I saw pretty much everything there is to see. And I want to post a full video on, you know, just going around the sights and sounds, all the places with all the pictures and videos and my basically a full vlog. Um, but I want to get some content up quickly. So here's what we're going to do. So this is the five things that I picked up in San Francisco. Uh, some interesting tourist items, some souvenirs. The very San Francisco twist to it. Okay. Now, the first one, let's see here, is kind of the funniest one. I wanted to get this one out of the way. This is a ticket I got for the Obama Portraits Tour. You can see it there. That was at the De Young Museum in uh, Golden Gate Park. And this one's funny. I'll, I'll put up a picture here of, of what it looked like. But it was it was pretty hilarious. Basically, as you can see, it was just Obama sitting in a, a chair. That was the whole portrait. It was him, and there's a bunch of leaves around it. If you've ever seen it before, it was kind of mocked when it came out. And I didn't really know that's what it was, but I saw... First of all, I kind of wanted to see some fine art, and they had some great American Renaissance era, or sorry, Revolutionary era uh, oil paintings, which were also just super beautiful. Um, I'll post some of those. And, you know, some other great sculptures, right? Some other beautiful stuff. But then they had the Obama, so all the, all the white liberal people are like, oh my God, it's Obama? Is that Obama? Did you guys see it? Is Obama in here? First of all, you have to be a little bit narcissistic to have a touring pair. Okay, it was, it was only one. So it was Barack and Michelle, as you can see there. Touring, right? That that was it. So there was nothing else to go with it. It was a little bit funny there. Um, you know, it's like we're supposed to keep this kind of oath or, or whatever. Um, to Obama, like I, you know, and it was just hilarious because it was 15 bucks for the whole museum, which the oil paintings were well worth it, and it was worth it just to LARP on the whole thing. I actually, it was funny. I was kind of, I asked someone to take a picture for me in front of the painting, and then I could see this black guy in the background kind of going like this, like, like kind of like looking at, and he was looking, he looked at me directly, like, I know what you're doing. I'm on to you, kind of thing, you know, because he knew I was kind of. Kind of LARPing on it a little bit, making a joke. Or maybe he was actually proud. He's like, good, white boys finally understand Obama. You know, kind of, I, you know, it was hard to tell. But it was definitely like I was trying to get to that parody point where I was like, please, can you get a picture with me? So I'll post some footage there. Um, okay, the next thing. I got this actually, I think it was at, oh, no, it was at the, the museum too. Harvey Milk, A Messenger of Hope. You can see there, and then on the back it has his romantic partner, played by, um, who's that guy who did the sexual stuff with underage girls? Uh, Franco, James Franco. You can see the resemblance there, right? Definitely looks like Sean Penn and James Franco. And, I mean, the guy was actually not, you know, what they made him out to be in the movie. And, and no, he was not assassinated by... Um, you know, one of his fellow councilmen. It was actually like a mentally ill guy or something. So, anyway, I thought that was kind of funny because they just had this stuff everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Just promoting Harvey Milk, Harvey Milk. Shot by a crazy guy. Okay. This was cool. I got this at the Russian Orthodox uh, Cathedral I went to. And that is the uh, Russia... And the USSR, what they never tell you. 
So that's a funny, I just thought that was a funny kind of, what they don't tell you, okay? So, I mean, there's a lot, of, I, have, I haven't actually gone through it, but I just thought it was funny that that was at, like, in, you know, San Francisco, they have this. And then, it was actually funny, the guy in the cathedral, I asked him if he was, like, a priest, he's like, oh, I'm just a flunky, you know, he was sitting in the, but he's sitting there kind of greeting people, and um, he said he had met uh, St. John of Maximovich, who is a, was a sainted Orthodox saint who was who's interred there. You can you can go up and see his bones, <laughs> and he and he has his vestments over, but he's like you can still like see the rotting kind of flesh. It's a little bit grotesque, and people were coming in and doing their kind of up down up down up down prayers. And I realized something funny that I think that's like Islam copied that or something because like a lot of things seem to be like Islam was like, Oh yeah, this is kind of, we should, we should kind of borrow this. Like the sings on in this is actually kind of used in Orthodox prayers, services, uh, liturgy. And then, uh, the, the praying the up down thing. I hadn't seen that before at the, the church actually, because it, like, it's not a relic. They don't have a relic or in the service. They don't have the relic. I think they have one in, in the St. Nectarios, but anyway, so I thought that was interesting. People were coming in and doing the up-down, kind of prostrating themselves and, and kind of coming back up and down. So it was like, it's pretty interesting. And the guy, anyway, the guy met there, he, he was a regular American Joe, but then he was like, you know, fluent in Russian. He was like, yeah, 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 this old guy. And he said he had met St. John of Maximovich, who's this Orthodox saint. And he saw him, his eyes were like rolling back and he healed this, he said, young Mexican boy in front of him. And, uh... Yeah, so it was a really interesting uh, kind of detour I had from the typical liberal stuff. Now, the last thing I have is a ride for Palestine. Now, this isn't necessarily that surprising. I think it's funny, though, that, like, you know, people think it has to do with bikes. It's a lot to do more to do with, like, terrorism and stuff in Palestine. <laughs> I mean, there is a lot of that, and that's not all it is, but it's... You know, okay. But the funny thing about this is where I found it. It was actually in a uh, Mexican kind of cafe thing, like a bodega kind of store that also served, you know, cheap bagels and stuff for like five bucks. But anyway, so I just thought it was funny that they, you know, somebody had come by and been like, can we leave this here? You know, and they were probably like, mm, okay, you know, we don't want to upset the neighborhood. The ride for Palestine. You got to be kidding me. Anyway, so those are the five interesting things. Um, there's actually only four. Oh, and then to round it off, we'll do five. We got some. A ticket here. Um, my boarding pass. Uh, this one is to Calgary. Now, what's interesting about this, why I wanted to show this is actually, um, I met this really interesting guy, um, in the Chili's at the the Calgary airport on my layover. So I had about a two hour layover. I don't know why most people just sit in those like uncomfortable chairs and are kind of like, like, you know, like just spend the 20, 30 bucks, get a meal, you know, meet somebody at the, in an airport bar. I mean, anyway, and this guy was telling me, Oh, there's so many jobs. He, he like, he said he was a consultant for a fracking company and, you know, his family had, you know, all these fracking, he was connected with the fracking industry. And, um, Unfortunately, he said he was going to visit his friend in near Toronto who was dying uh, just outside Toronto, and I thought that was really sad. I guess the guy had, he had worked with the guy, and the funny thing was the guy was about my age. He was 31. I'm 32, and he was dying of leukemia. Like He instantly got it. He had some kind of discoloration in his eye, and then he went to see a doctor, and the doctor said stage two or three, and he was... Got about a year to go, buddy. Um, and that just really makes you think how fragile life is. You know, seeing St. John Maximovich, all these relics, all these things. And I, I've always enjoyed life, even in, in the my saddest times. Like, even now you could say, like, well, you know, I don't have a good, you know, whatever, career or something. But, I, you know, I always see the opportunity, the light of life for what it can become, right? Because the light obviously leads us to grow and to bask in, in this richness and this love. And it's just funny um, 
how we take it for granted. I mean, that's a cliche, but it's just funny how, how fragile it is. You know, I meet this guy. I didn't know him in Calgary at the, the you know, the airport bar, Chili's, and, and, and we were just having a couple Coors Lights and just a couple of bros. And I realized, like, I probably would fit in very well in Calgary. And, oh, bonus item. This is actually, this was the fifth, but I forgot. my This Budweiser tank top, okay? Um, I just thought it was fucking cool, you know. Budweiser, 4th of July, America. And it just made me like, it just kind of encapsulates everything I liked about America, which is the freedom, the economic freedom. There's like products for cheaps. Like they had, um, oh, what was it called? The food, the food store. Oh, God, I was going to say food land, but that's here. Um, TJ Maxx or something. Anyway, I, I don't remember the name, I think it, but it was like a cheap store just had like everything you could need and it was in in where i was staying in, in concord and it had the um just everything like just treats and candies but also good food for cheap and um you know cheap beer right and people think oh what are you an alcoholic no it's just the beer represents freedom male ambition like and i think people get the wrong idea especially in canada it's, it's a it's a fucking uh, Especially Toronto is a nation of or city of doddering like nurses and just it's just so toxic. Femininity at its worst of controlling everything and policing your language. You need we know what's best for you. We work for the committee and oh, it's just endless. Like we for, we work for Canada Food Inspection Agency. You can't have raw beef and beer is bad it should be overpriced you know oh, oh just a tyranny of karens we have here and uh ugh, i picked up this I actually started by the end of the trip i was doing this scottish voice i was like hey, i kind of like america a bit a wee bit more than canada maybe i'll stay for a, a bit but uh me mates my friend's uh wife was a uh, chinese wife she wasn't having it she wasn't having it um i think she's realizes i'm a little bit too independent for her liking you know it would be a bad influence on her husband right but just it just anyway this whole you know this culture of working class freedom of expression yeah they might have guns but you know who cares what do you care if somebody has a gun you should be care worried about their mental state okay but for whatever reason they don't want to focus on that. There's, oh, put them in an institution, you know, or something like, okay, well, the problem is society. It's like, no, nope, you got it wrong. Get back in the institution. Like, not that that's ever happened to me, but I know lots of people who've gone in for treatment and very upper class people too. So just having a beer, growing out is the best thing you can do sometimes with the guys, get the, get the testosterone going, get the ideas flowing. Like cheap beer is a blessing on the world. It gives, it's probably come up with more ideas than you know all of asia combined like just all <laughs> just western guys having beers thinking up new ideas how to create new things and that's all i got for you today so that's uh the five or six things um oh my friends also gave me this smelling bracelet which is kind of nice so i might keep that for a bit all right, that's all for today. See you guys next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you.